Hello everybody, Born in 22 here with another blind reaction to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 5 Episode 16, Made in Manhattan. Um, I have no idea. I mean, there's there some things I've heard about it, like, I don't know if it's true, but is it really another rarity episode? Because if it is, then that would be three in a row. So... Yeah, let's just get started and see what this episode's all about. So, make sure I'm actually recording. Don't want to accidentally forget to start recording. And here we go. In three, two, one. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? What's going on, Twilight? Okay, her wings looked a little bit weird there. But you're reading. I've read all these books already. Yeah? And? And I'm bored. I want to do something. Things have been so slow around here and I just... What? Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, my darling. Oh, thank goodness. It seems that my... <sighs> Wait, what? Here as fast as I <gasps> the map! Oh, my God. Again? So soon? Ah, uh, poor Twilight. Oh, I feel bad for her. Okay, I did not expect this to be another map episode. So, why? Uh oh. It looks like you've been summoned to this particular neighborhood here. We're off to solve a friendship problem in one of the busiest and most vibrant cities in all of Equestria. Oh yeah? Isn't this exciting? Yeah, but why Applejack too? Seems a hair odd though, don't it? Map calling me to a big city like Manhattan. <laughs> you may yeah. be more of a country pony at heart, Applejack. But the map picked you two because you're the best ponies to tackle this particular mission. But how yeah. do we even know what our mission's supposed to be? Yeah, how are they supposed to know? Neighborhood probably has twice as many ponies as all of Ponyville. <laughs> More like three times. Why, it's not only home to the hay packing district, it's also home to the fashion district. The hay packing district? Hmm, shame you weren't called as well, though, darling. You did end up quite a fan of the hustle and bustle of Manhattan on our last visit. It's such an exciting city. Yeah, I did not expect this actually at all. What would you like to do there? So many museums and historical landmarks to visit, not to mention all the libraries. Poor Twilight. But this is your mission. Don't worry about me. I've got plenty of books to keep me busy. <laughs> or more like a magazine. <laughs> I just remembered something. The Sisterhood Social. We'll have to miss it. Uh -huh. Telling how long we'll be in Manhattan. I sure hope Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle aren't too upset. Oh man. Well, that sucks. Oh, wait. Rarity was going to compete in that this year? That's kind of neat. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on here. What's Applejack's problem? Home. Yeah, I noticed. Eyes peel, ears open. Eyes peel, ears open. Um, what's wrong with Applejack? Remember, Applejack, you're in the big city now. No moseying. You've got a lot okay. of speed and confidence. Come on, Applejack, you can do it. Applejack, stop it! Butter my biscuits. I can barely cross the street in this town. How am I supposed to help solve a What? Yes, I think this is the one. No, no. Excuse me. That hat clashes with your name. Not to mention it's far too large and will undoubtedly obstruct your vision. 
Okay. Damn, none of these will do. Oh, Applejack, what good timing! Yeah, what good time? Uh, oh, really? Poor Applejack got hit. Oh, it's lovely. How much would you like for it? Oh no, no, please, please keep it. I can always make another. Thank you. Yeah, that's good advertising. You thought we wouldn't discover our purpose here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't it. Yeah, I don't I think that was it either. Pony from committing a terrible crime of fashion. It says that cuter marks aren't glowing. Oh, that it eyebrow. Meeting a friend would have laughed at a new hat, and then their friendship could have been ruined forever. And well, it's possible. Did your cutie mark glow signifying a job well done? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. You just lost me a paying customer. What the heck? Oh, I, I am so, so sorry. Oh my god. I never meant to feed it. Uh, oh my god. I accept my sincerest apologies for the misunderstanding. And might I add what a lovely establishment you have here? <laughs> yeah, despite what she said before. You're right, Applejack. <laughs> the search continues. Uh, excuse me. I was just wondering. Uh, friendship problem, any pony? See, yeah, I don't think that's the best way to look for a problem. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> oh my god, Charlie Brown reference! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, it did. Restore our long lost but beloved tradition, the Midsummer Theater Revival. There's a guest performance by local theater troupe, the Method Mayors, as well as games, food, and much, much more. This event promises to bring our Brooklyn neighbors together and restore our sense of community, but there's so much to do and we need your help. Huh. <gasps> that could be it. This is it. The contact on the flyer is Coco Palmel. All right. Oh, yeah. She's the one who got a job making costumes for that designer friend of yours. Don't you see? This must be why the map called us here. Oh, and you were Coco Parmel? Well, I suppose it's at least worth looking into. Oh, is that who I think it is? We can never get off the street corner. I can't believe you found my flyer. Quite a coincidence. <gasps> oh, yeah, I remember her now. And I was specifically summoned here to be of service. That was on Rarity's Key episode. Dear friend, are in need of help. It's no coincidence, darling. Rarity. This Midsummer Theater Revival. What is it exactly? Yeah, what is it? An outdoor play held at the community park. Many moons ago, local theater troops would perform, and ponies in the neighborhood would help make the costumes and design set pieces, prepare food to share during the performance. Neat. Y'all do look like you're enjoying each other's company. Kinda reminds me of Ponyville. It sounds lovely, darling. It was. Up until several moons ago. What happened? Yeah. Charity Kindheart. She was a well-known costume designer on Bridal Way. She started the Midsummer Theater Revival as a way to share her passion for theater with the neighborhood. No matter how busy she was, she always made time for the revival. Aww. But when she moved away to be closer to her grandfillies, the neighborhood lost the special tradition she had started. And worse, the sense of community it fostered. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, really? No pony else stepped up to take over for charity? I've been trying to, but I've just gotten a last minute request to alter costumes for the cast of My Fair Philly, and I'm afraid I haven't made much progress. Aww. Oh, there's just so much to do to bring back the Midsummer Revival, and my flyers haven't attracted a single volunteer. <laughs> Say no more! You finish up your work, and by this time tomorrow, you'll be up to your mane in ponies who want to lend a hoof. Applejack and I will make sure of it. You will? Really? How? You bet your boots we will. <clears throat> oh, I don't wear boots. I find they chase my calves when I walk. It's just an expression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you see, the method mares are only available on this one day, and we need all the help we can get with preparation. Yeah, not a good time right now. 
<laughs> what am I saying? It's never a good time. Of course not. <clears throat> well, what do you think? I got my own problems. You think I got hours to dedicate to Oh god, not him. I remember him. Uh, yes. Charity's Midsummer Theater revival. Such wonderful memories. So you'll help us? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I run a very important oat and hay import export business. What? I can't spare even a moment for such things. Ah, uh, really? Oh my god. And yet he's there lounging around. What the heck? This is a nightmare. Oh, not at all, darling. It's quite lovely. I think she was talking about the Midsummer Theater revival. Yeah. I finished the alterations for my fair filly, but have barely started the costumes for the revival, and the method mares are coming to the park tomorrow for a costume fitting and rehearsal. Well, I could help you with the costumes. But yeah. what are we going to do about the rest? The park is in desperate need of repairs, and the sets still need to be built. Well, I know a thing or two about building and fixing things. Ah, so it's, kinda... it's pretty good that both of them came. Could be the reason the map called me here. You see, dear, we went out looking for volunteers when all the help you need is right here. Uh huh. Are they sure they can do it? I have chosen just Applejack and me if it was more than we could handle. Everything is going to be just fine. I hope so. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dear, you're right. Are you sure you can manage this by yourself? Well, there's a lot to do. But Rarity's right. The map wouldn't have called us here if we weren't up for the challenge. You two go on and take care of the costumes. I'll okay. The dress yeah. Uh oh. I wasn't gonna say anything, but at first I thought it was gonna be a song, but oh wow, she better got anything done. This is an interesting song. <gasps> oh no! Her hat got shredded up. No. Applejack, look out! Don't break it, make sure it doesn't break! Oh. Oh, great. Really? <laughs> bad but I'm moving as fast as I can yeah don't worry we've still got plenty of time everything's going to be um excuse me is this where the midsummer theater revival is supposed to be uh, we're here for the dress rehearsal oh yes we've just put the finishing touches on the costumes at least those look professional We'll do a dry run of the play first, and then the fitting. No, wait! I haven't gotten a chance to- <gasps> Uh-oh! Look out! Oh. Man, they're doing a bad job. This is not good. Charity's example to bring my neighborhood together again. The park is still a mess. We Aww. haven't thought about what refreshments to serve during the performance. And even if we had, we don't have a stage for the method mayors to perform on. It's <laughs> hopeless. Just hopeless. No, it's not. There's still something they can that can I be done. Understand. The map summoned us here to solve a friendship problem. We clearly found it. But why did it send the two of us? Why not Twilight? I'm sure she could have used her magic to transform this park in an instant. I've been thinking the same thing. I mean, I can at least see why you're here. Coco's your friend, and you have an eye for costumes and all. But me? I was never going to be able to finish a project this big. Well, the turn to Ponyville is failures. Why must this be Applejack? Why? 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 Really? Hold on there. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we pack up and go home. <laughs> then what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we start um, worrying about what we can't do and start doing what we can. I think okay. I've got a plan. It won't be anything big or fancy, but it'll be something. And something's gotta be better than nothing, right? I suppose so. 
That's the spirit. Sort of. Yeah, that's sort of the spirit. All right, y'all. It's ready. Should we go ahead and start? Okay. Let's see how it turns out. What the heck? some samples of my work. I'm sorry I'm late. I had the hardest time finding my way here. I just moved here and I keep getting mixed up by the street names. Did they ever get her back? No, they didn't. I could tell that's not her. I see. What is that? I don't know, so that looks like some kind of play. Well, can we stay and watch it, please? Please, can we? Can we? <laughs> what the heck? Right, I suppose we could stay for a minute. Excuse oh, the, the me, accent. But your next appointment is here. All right, send him in. I'm sorry, but based on these samples, I just don't think this is the place for you. Aww. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong, these clothes are all exquisite and well made, but more theatrical than avant garde. Have you considered costume design? Maybe. I have a contact on Bridal Way. If you're really? interested, I can put you in touch with him. This is interesting. It's like an interesting turn. Charity, dear! Is that you? Hello, Mrs. Pear Blossom. I didn't see. Oops. Oh, let me help you, dear. Are these the costumes you've been working on? Yes. Yep. I was supposed to be okay. By now, uh, sorry, I just don't know what to say. I don't, I'm like kind of speechless right now for some reason. To make before opening night. I'm sorry I couldn't get enough tickets for every pony in the neighborhood. I hope Mr. Pear Blossom wasn't too disappointed. I know Trotter on the Roof is one of his favorites. Oh, my dear, really? don't worry about that. Huh. I'm so proud of you. We should be with you in spirit. Thank you. You've all made me feel so welcome here and have become like family to me. I just wish I could share this experience with you and the others. Yeah, what's going on? It's the Midsummer Theater Revival. The Method Mirza before me. <sighs> the revival. <laughs> yeah, my pop used to bring me. Oh, yeah? It's so nice of you to put on this play for the neighborhood. I couldn't have done it without every pony's help. I know it's not right away, but... Oh, Pistosh! Perfect, dear. Aw, that's cute. Well, this is working. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you. This is so nice. Haven't seen the neighborhood this friendly since Charity moved away. Aw, that's kind of sad. And gentle coats. Please give a warm welcome to the one who made this entire event possible, our neighbor, Coco Pomel. Ah, well, I still gave her credit. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for coming. The Midsummer Theater revival was always something that meant so much to me, and it seems it means quite a lot to all of you as well. Yeah, it kind of does, even though they lost the spirit. Let's just put it back. Friends Rarity and Applejack helped me ever so much. Congrats. Um. Okay, Applejack looked a little nervous. Oh shucks! I just happened to be good with a hammer, is all. To be honest, we had much bigger plans to start. When those fell through, we decided to simplify. This here was the result. Oh, don't be so modest. Coco and I were lost. You bet your boots we were. Hmm. Aw, oh, that's, that's kind of nice that they were able to bring this back. It all worked out so well. We it did it. We see how much we enjoyed the Midsummer Theater revival and how much it inspired us. Oh, yeah? I used to think that to help my community, I had to do something big. <laughs> like what? Let's face it, in this day and age, who has the time for such a commitment? But here, he does apparently. Something as simple as building a stage and putting on a play, and look at how it's brought every pony together. 
I saw Coco's fly as for volunteers, but didn't think anything I'd have time to do would be that useful. Now I wish I'd offered to help. Even if it was just pulling a few weeds or planting a few flowers. Not sure if you noticed, but the park is far from being fixed up. I imagine if you look around, you'll find there's lots yeah, there's a lot of stuff that everyone can do around there. This is kind of an interesting story, actually. I don't think we'll be alone. Oh. Oh, it worked. That must feel weird. <laughs> we did it. Ooh, I understand now. It all makes perfect sense. Huh? What does? I know why the map called you here. You do? If Twilight had used her magic to fix the park, it wouldn't have fixed the real problem. Which is that these Manhattan ponies didn't think they had time to do something for their community. Oh, yeah, that is good. The play went on. You showed them that just by doing something small, you can make a big difference. Yeah, quite amazing, huh? You have more in common with the Manhattan ponies than you thought. But all the same, I'd sure like to head back to Ponyville on the next train. I want to check in with Apple Bloom and find out how the Sisterhood Social turned out. Oh, no. Absolutely, my dear. Just as soon as I stop that pony in the shop over there from purchasing that dreadfully hideous gun, Zara, you're making a terrible. <laughs> oh, that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting change of music in the back. <laughs> Sorry. Interesting music. Just listening to it very quick. This was a pretty good episode, you know? You know, I definitely enjoyed it. You know, it definitely had a good message for it. You know. Maybe, you know, enough people can do something small to make something big happen, possibly. So, um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. You know, just let me know what y'all think. And I guess I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.